More than 71,000 South Dakotans have received COVID-19 vaccinations and more than half are fully vaccinated. And now the state will be getting even more doses on a weekly basis. On the night beat, Kettleland's Dan Santella breaks down the numbers and looks at where vaccination efforts are right now. Good evening, Dan. Bridget, the communications director for the South Dakota Department of Health, tells me that the weekly number of doses coming in to the state from the federal government was around 11,000. Now, going forward, that number will be closer to 13,000. Today, I spoke with a physician from both Avera Health and Sanford Health about where the push to vaccinate the population is right now. You got to control what you can control, and we don't have a lot of control with what comes from uh, the federal system into the state system uh, into our allocation for vaccine. And so, what we get is very exciting, and we're looking forward to getting that uh, supply used this week. The South Dakota Department of Health includes this graphic on its website showing the order in which people will receive the vaccine. Well, we've kind of moved on from 1A, 1B, and 1C, uh, we still do accept and we still get inquiries about those all the time. Those numbers kind of get a little bit smaller each week, but we still do happily accept anybody that either was out of town or just wasn't quite ready to get it at the initial run. We do still accept those earlier phases. Right now, vaccine availability has reached some people in Group D. So we've really broken it down, starting at the highest risk groups uh, at first. And so right now we're vaccinating as a state uh, those who are 80 years of age or older, those who have dialysis, transplant, active cancer diagnoses, and then some of the highest risk congregate settings like independent living. Each dose is someone, just like each case is someone. And each dose of vaccine that is given to someone um, is really exciting for that person. It's exciting for their loved ones. It's exciting for their safety going forward. People are already receiving Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Basil made a point in today's interview to share thoughts on a Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which may soon be another resource for people. Essentially what the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is doing is taking COVID, which can be very serious, and turning it essentially into a common cold. And if you'd like to go over the South Dakota Department of Health data for yourself, we're including a link to it in this report on Kelloland.com. All right, thanks a lot, Dan.